Hey guys, I wanted to bring you along. We bought something to help us with our wood processing. It's called a log ox. And um, we're going to unbox it here for you. And hopefully we'll be able to put it to use at least to try it out on a few of our logs here to see how it works. We bought it because we're processing a ton of firewood. I mean, we got all this firewood processed here in the last two weeks. And we're getting ready. We got this pile ready to process. We got to process all this. Then all this. Then all that. All that. So there's some in the back there. And tomorrow we pick up another load. So let's see what this log ox is all about. Jim's my van of light. We are dirty. We haven't showered yet. This, we've been working wood. We've worked around the homestead all day. So... Cozy. Oh, look, a cozy. Too bad we don't drink anything that we can use it for. We don't drink soft drinks. We don't drink beer. So, eh, we'll add it to our collection, though. <laughs> All right, here's a handle. That's a foot. Okay. Look at that claw on that thing, guys. Woo wee! That's for picking up the logs right there. <coughs> Do you remember what this cost? We ordered this through Amazon. Uh, it wasn't cheap. No, well, I think it was a hundred. It was well over a hundred dollars. So, but it's heavy duty. This should last us until we're no longer processing wood. So we only buy things that are heavy, heavy duty construction because we've learned buying cheap with what we do and how much we do it doesn't pay off for us. If you hear the goat in the background, it's Picasso. He's calling to the girls again. But nobody's in heat, so they're not interested. Maybe next week we'll have someone come back in heat. But that someone would only be Latte or uh, Ginger. Alright, we're going to pause it while he gets a wrench. Okay, Jim's starting to put this together. I don't know how long this is going to take. But we're going to try and give you a little demo as well. Otherwise, this would be a very short video. This is basically designed to save you bending as much, which bending is not good for either Jim or my back. And it's... Just <coughs> 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 Goodness gracious. It's designed to actually help get a log up off the ground so when you're chainsawing your your uh, 16 inch or 20 inch logs off of that long trunk of a tree, this helps get it up off the ground so you're not chainsawing down into the ground. There's a few uses for this so hopefully we'll be able to show you a few of them. Now, other channels that have featured this, one is Off Grid with Doug and Stacy. He did a video showing this, and he absolutely loves it. And they process a lot of firewood as well. So that's one thing. If you want to go check out Doug and, Stacy, Doug and Stacy Off Grid with Doug and Stacy, they do a demo on this as well. I don't think it's going to work on these huge logs. Well, we're going to try it, guys. Ooh! Look at that. It grabbed that big. You can see how round that log is. It's a, as tall as Jim's knee. Wow. Okay. It's going to work on the bigger logs as well as the small ones. Mm -hmm. Now, if all now can you take one of those long logs over there and show them how it works to, 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 roll, it. to roll it so you can chainsaw it up off the ground? Okay. We've got one more piece to put on. I forget. Is that the two things that it does? That's just some of the things it does. I mean, it does it does pick up and carry. It yep. does prop up for, for cutting and then for rolling. It has a rolling feature. So you can roll the log. If you've got a log that's you need to maneuver to, to uh, into a better cutting position or roll it over right. where you can get to the other side of it to, so your chain's not as long enough. All right. So, for example, these, some these them... logs here are a bear to, to maneuver. Sometimes. Yeah, you can't cut them in one so shot. To, but if you, you can, can roll them. Roll it around to, to work with it. 
Okay. Now this one here, for example. Oh, you see the leg is down on the ground right there? <laughs> yeah. It's a little too round for, I think, what you're trying to do. You need to go to something smaller. Nope, that's not going to work on that one. Please listen. Okay. Go to that one there. It's a little narrow. Now, this is not designed to process the type of wood we get. But we pick up wood nobody else will pick up because they don't want to handle these. There you go. Now, now this log is elevated, and you can chainsaw it down without. Put it up over here. Yeah, you take a chunk there, and you take a chunk there, and then you can elevate the last section. You could probably get what three, three or four pieces At least two out of or three this. Three cuts out of that. Yeah. yeah. Well, you get more than two. What two, three cuts? Yeah. That's a piece. That's a piece. And then down there. Okay. So. But yeah, for stuff like this, we'll be using the log ox just to, to pick them up off the pile and then to get them elevated so we can chainsaw them without hitting the ground. Because we have sand here, and when you start digging into ground, I don't care if it's clay, whatever it is, it's going to dull your chainsaw blade. This is one way to make that chainsaw blade last just a little bit longer. And Jim's wanted this for, what, at least a year now. Ever since I saw it on Doug and Stacy. And, you know, because we're processing so much firewood this year, more than we normally would, I thought it was worthwhile investing in anything to save our backs and to just make the job a little more this, tolerable. To, even if you just had this to... to right. To, to have that up. Just to way. elevate the log. But if you lock it in the jaw, then it's not going to move either. Right. That's too small. To yeah, this is a, a touch too small. Yep. But as far as processing stuff like so that, how easy it is there isn't that. a whole lot of tools out there that's going to help us process those huge logs. Tomorrow we're picking up more logs, I think, that are going to be about that size, or at least that size. Well, so. The 16 inch length, but he's got, so he's got their big, big logs. So. Yeah, the guys already cut them to 16 inch lengths, which helps us tremendously. All we got to do is get them, get over there, roll them up on the trailer, get them home, roll them off, and then deal with them as we can. Because we're also in the middle of a bathroom project, so a little bit here and a little bit there is what we're going to be doing with the wood. And if Jim can break down the ones I can't lift to the point that I can finish breaking them down, none of these I can't work with. So if he can get them down, quarter them, or take them down... A quarter, uh, if he quarters most of the stuff, I can work with it. And then from there, I can, while he's working on the bathroom, since the bathroom's so small, we can't both be in there at the same time. But while he's working on that, then I can work on those type of pieces that are manageable for me. And from there, I can stack all the firewood we split. So it's about dividing and conquering, getting things done, getting... What needs to be done, done. My goal is to get at least two to three years worth of fly, firewood put up. As a prepper, with a prepper mindset, one winter's worth of firewood is never enough. Because what if next year something happens to Jim and we don't have firewood put up? What if next year... For some reason, the grid goes down, there is no gasoline pumping. Again, we wouldn't be able to process firewood. So it's just trying to get ahead a year or two on the whole firewood processing. And if nothing happens, then we'll still bring firewood in next year. And we'll stockpile stuff like this so we have it. Because if this gets dry enough, you can take a hand axe to this. And you could split it by hand. It's not fun, it's not easy, and it has to be really dry, but it can be done. The key is always to have enough fuel on hand to work that log splitter. He's playing. <laughs> Do you like it? Yeah, for rolling for rolling logs, for... I mean, those big things right there were, a, were, a, were a monsters to try to move. Yeah, some of this and stuff we, is huge, guys. 
just rolling them up like this this odd shape one here rolling that up on the trailer that one there was a nightmare yeah with because, this if i can find that it arm on, on it point and spin it i can at least get yep. it to roll and get, some of it is leverage. you know when there's a limb on a tree and the the tree service doesn't cut that limb section off it makes it super hard for the person coming in behind the tree service working the wood to get it off the people's property which is what we're doing to work and maneuver that wood without that cutting the, some more. That was the one I cut with the, with the old chainsaw blade. Yep. Or the the yep. short chainsaw. Yep. Where I didn't couldn't reach all the way across. Look how, yep. look how mangled that was. It's all right. It'll still split. <laughs> I know, but I mean, I'm just saying the difference between yep. having the right equipment and not the wrong equipment. Look at all the sand up on this one. I wonder what's up with that. Somebody's been digging in here. We have an armadillo, guys. He comes yeah. through every night and he digs. So, He's but we have at least two cords of wood ready for this winter, and we have at least another two, I believe, in that section right there, and maybe another two to three right here. And with the new wood stove, we burnt that stove four days total, day and night. And now it's not cold, cold here, it was down in the 40s at night. 60s during the day so we weren't freezing cold like we can get down to 18 degrees but we were able to we only went through half of a box wood box full of wood in all those days now our old wood stoves we would have gone through that entire box probably twice in four days so we aren't using as much firewood as we had been but we still want to like i said stockpile some firewood all right, guys, hope you enjoy that wood ox, log ox, I'm sorry, log ox unboxing. Here's some information if you're interested in looking into it, if you're processing firewood. So it's www.thelogox.com. American-made tools, guys. That's the only way to go. Take care and God bless.